Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fibroid uterus. A middle-aged female patient came with lower abdominal pain and menstrual irregularity. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus showing a well-defined round to oval heterogeneously hypoechoic area at the lower part of the myometrial body. On transverse section, you can see the lesion at the right posterolateral myometrium. This heterogeneous appearance may indicate the degenerative procedure within the lesion. So this is actually a case of fibroid uterus. So here is the magnified image of this lesion and you can see the heterogeneous appearance quite well here. There is a thin hyperechogenic margin of this lesion you can see here. This indicates the pseudo capsule of the fibroid, which is actually a sign to confirm this lesion as a fibroid. Here is the magnified transverse section image of this lesion, and you can also see the fibroid at the right posterolateral myometrium. So here's the picture of this lesion in transverse and longitudinal section. The diameter of this fibroid was around 4 cm. Now what about the color Doppler ultrasound features here? Here on longitudinal section you can see prominent vessels peripheral to this lesion. In transverse section you can also see these prominent vessels mainly peripheral to this lesion. You can also see a glimpse of central flow but the peripheral one appears prominent as it's a benign lesion. Now here's the Doppler picture in transverse and longitudinal section showing prominent peripheral and some tiny central vessels. We want to take sample from this prominent artery. We have taken a spectrum from this peripheral prominent artery. The wave pattern shows good amount of flow during the diastole making it as a low resistant wave pattern. We have measured the resistive index and it was 0.54. So in summary, a well-defined round to oval heterogeneously hypoechoic area is noted at the right posterolateral myometrium. Color Doppler shows prominent peripheral vascularity with low resistant flow. The resistive index of a prominent supplying artery measures 0.54. Now the take-home message. Fibroid will have definite blood supply. In case of a small fibroids, if you put color Doppler, the supplying vessel may guide you to find the fibroid or it may help you confirm that tiny lesion as a fibroid. The fibroid will have a pseudo capsule. So if you check carefully, you can find non-continuous hyper echogenic thin margin of the fibroid indicating that pseudo capsule. It may help you differentiate fibroid from other differential diagnosis like adenomyosis. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.